Dude. <laughs> oh, what a cool opening. Look at that patch. Look at that <laughs> patch you have there. I have a patch. Can I show off mine? Absolutely. This is my patch in honor of Veterans Day, baby, which is today. <clears throat> All you vets out there, we love you. Thanks so much for keeping us all safe and serving your country. And uh, man, what a great day to be on Facebook Live. How you doing, Craig? I'm hanging in here. It's another day in paradise. It's getting a little dark earlier these days, but uh, I'm trying to become more efficient to get more done during the day in the daylight and stuff like that. You know what I did today? What did you do? I got myself a chocolate milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> I sat alone in a restaurant with, I was in the corner. There was nobody there because it was 3 PM. Uh, and I just, you know, had myself a chocolate milkshake. Now it was a, you know, it was non dairy because y'all know I don't do dairy, but it was darn good. It was a coconut cream chocolate milkshake. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Yeah, it was good. So that's what I did today. That's what I did. Hey, a quick side story, and this relates to Veterans Day and, and myself being a veteran and, and a story from Army Boot Camp, right? So good old Craig's story from Army Boot Camp <laughs> <laughs> having to do with milkshakes. So, that was a story, Uncle Craig. So, so with milkshakes. Yeah, that was a story, Uncle Craig. There you go. So I, I went to Army Infantry Boot Camp down in Fort Benning, Georgia, and as uh, a lot of you know, or if you don't know, I'm going to tell you that it's where you go to get the crap beaten out of you and... Where, where boys become men. <laughs> now, if you go down at 30 years old, like this guy, uh, it's a little bit different story. However, um, it still, still fits, still fits. So, uh, once in a while we would go down to what we call the PX or the post exchange where we'd go buy things that we needed, shaving cream, et cetera, et cetera. And there happened to be a milkshake or ice cream place at the PX. Okay. And being that it's boot camp and very strict and stuff like that, um, you weren't allowed to even like look in that general direction. Uh, Ooh. but I don't know, maybe halfway through something like that. The drill sergeant's like, Hey, you guys want something? Go get it. And we're like, uh Oh, they're going to play, you know, FF games with us. And uh -oh. FF is a, is a, is a different word there, but okay. let's, let's play FF games, you know, with, with these guys and they're like, Oh, are the drill sergeants messing with us? Or are we really allowed to go get something? And there was a whole thing. And like, no one stepped up to the plate and did it. Okay. And I'm like, uh, you know, I'm not a big milkshake guy. Um, also, like, I didn't know how like the milk in the milkshake was gonna play into everyone when you're eating a certain diet down there, and not really milkshakes and ice cream uh, and things like that. So I was like, eh, not for me. Um, fast forward a couple weeks later, I ended up, and this isn't to toot my own horns, just you know, part of the story. I yeah. ended up like acing a PT test or a physical training test um, and scoring a 300, which was the max at the time. And because I was do that, I was allotted a, a certain privilege. And that privilege was, Hey, when we go to the PX next, you're allowed to have a milkshake. And I'm like, uh, uh, and I'm like, is this another FF game? You know, are they just messing <laughs> with me? So long story short, we get there and like, everyone's pressuring me and they're like, Hey, old guy, you know, like go get one. And I was the older guy of the group. So they called me technically, they called me old balls, but that's besides the point. Uh, they're like, Hey old man you know, go, go get a milkshake. You know, everyone's egging me on. And finally I like, I stepped up. I'm like, oh, I'm just, I'm taking one for the team here. Maybe this is an FF, but you know what? I earned it. I worked my butt off and I scored the highest on the PT test. I earned it. So I went and got it and it was the most delicious thing ever. Yeah. And coming from a guy that was like, I don't have a huge sweet tooth. Milkshakes were never my deal. Things like that. I drank the crap out of that thing and it was delicious. Um, I was very lucky because I swear, like by the end of that, I was going to like go back to the barracks and I was going to have like four drill sergeants waiting for me to smoke the crap out of me yeah. and just beat me up. Hey, say hello to everybody. Oh, hi. This is, this is my second. This is Sadie. This is what my middle Sadie? daughter. Yep. How you doing? She can't hear you. Here you go. He says, oh. how you doing? Hi, Sadie. You're talking to everyone on the internet hi. right now. There you go. Okay, I got to continue on here. Okay, I'll see that you in a little bit. Speed, that is the high speed princess, folks. She is here, and as you all know, that is one of three of Craig's children. Just so like this me. this is what dads do, and Corey, I'm sure you've been here before. We have two Legos stuck together, and Daddy has to figure out how to get the smallest of Legos apart. You got who here? Who here is it? Yeah, I'm trying with the fingernails right now. Who here is is a dad that's been in that situation before? Um, Any, anyone in the comments, please go ahead and leave that here. 
as well, I try to get these apart. This is a very important comment. Can you please make sure you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. Say hello to your granddaughter. <laughs> Eric, Eric says happy Veterans Day. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Joey says hey. <laughs> yeah, of course. Success. All right. This is what dads do. We provide, protect, and connect. Okay. <laughs> I love it. And, and disconnect. Disconnect. And, and, and Lego. disconnect and take apart. All right. Love you. Please close the door. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Sorry, everyone. Sorry about that. Man, we oh, haven't please, even. Look, no here stuff. we go. We got them coming in. We got people like, use your teeth, use your knife point. Uh, hey, jo Joseph, the handy dandy tool. That is what I use. My fingernail was not working. I went right to my main tool, which is always on me. Where is, where do you keep it in your in your pocket or what? That is, it's in my pocket since junior high school. So wow, <laughs> like it's like with your wallet, you got the knife, yeah. Yeah, so exactly. I if three things: wallet, not even keys anymore. It's just wallet, phone, and knife. If I don't have one of those three on me, like I do, feel naked. The wow. keys because I, you know, we don't really go out that much anymore. COVID and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah totally. I, even wallet, you know, it's not so much anymore. But when I do go out, if I don't like it, I'm constantly, you know, checking. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there you go. Yes. Totally the same. One thing Joey prepared. also goes out with is yeah. that stroller. There, <laughs> absolutely. I know mm -hmm. I, I forget that picture from Joey, but I, I believe there's a high speed daddy backpack in that photo as well. Uh, let's see. Yep. Right there. You know it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, uh, wait, Marilyn said, oh yeah. She said teeth. Marilyn said teeth. Hi, Marilyn. Or wait, Martin. 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 That's a Martin. Sorry, Martin. Um, okay, so <laughs> we're, talking, we're talking about our. We haven't even. Today. We're we're how many minutes in? Seven minutes. We haven't talked about today's topic yet, but you know we had to cover it. the important things. Today's Veterans Day. We had to give it back. I at least had to honor my fellow brothers and sisters, and and Corey's super supportive, obviously. Yeah. So we had to, we had to work through some stuff, and and it's always fun to talk about little stories of of military service. So yeah, well, I mean, did I don't know if you guys heard, but we, uh, you know, Craig launched the you know black friday offers in honor of veterans day today and so you know it's it's out there i don't know you know no no hard sales just go to the website you'll see it but homepage you know, dad we're giving, we're giving everything away for 99 bucks i mean you go go grab it all because it's absolutely incredible we, this yeah deal. we don't run sales like that and limited time only we like oh, we yeah. only have a certain amount of stock set aside for for this sale like when it's out it's out it's you know then it's, it's gone so, so these, yeah. this bundle right now is awesome. Go check it out. Like like Corey said, we're not going to hard sell it. Yeah, uh, we we really don't hard sell stuff here. This is about providing value, right? Yeah. That's what we like to do on this. Sometimes you know we shoot for a little bit and you know talk it up and whatnot. But you know this is about providing value. And today's topic, and Corey, yeah. I'll jump right into it. Yeah, is basically keeping the romance alive, keeping things going uh, with your spouse and significant <laughs> other. Uh, you got kids involved, stress of COVID, you know, it's stress in general, work stress, life stress, whatever it may be. Uh, this is how how to keep things going and keep things alive. Now, Corey and I are, are no experts on this, but we do <laughs> more Lego problems. That's all right. You solve it. I'm going to take over. Listen, here's the deal. If you are dating your wife, which I talk about all the time, then you, you're doing this right, right? Like, but yeah, but what Craig said is we are not experts in this, okay? We are going to try the best to give you the best advice that we can, and we are going to rock and roll. Oh, check it out. Eric ordered a Ranger Green bundle this morning. He's a dad to be in April of 2020. Way to go, Eric. I love it, man. Eric is also, uh, er Eric's a local guy for us. Um, part of uh, one of the local fire departments that we sponsored uh, very early on, probably three and a half years ago. Wow. Um, Eric, Eric took, uh, took the bull by the horns and, and just, you know, knew me from being around in town and stuff like that. Uh, not that we'd hang out or stuff along those lines, but just, uh, just knew of me and knew of us and then asked, Hey, we are starting a new search and rescue team for the fire department. Would you be willing to donate a few bags? And I was, Oh yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, we, we don't just support our own uh, military members, first responders, firemen, law enforcement. Uh, yep. We definitely support everyone in that aspect there. But yeah, uh, yeah Eric, uh, you know, ha has bought a bunch of stuff in the past as well. But he recently found out that he has number one on the way and he ordered a whole new bundle to go along with that. So Eric, thank you very much for the support, brother, for the continued support. All right. So back to our ladies. Now, listen, we're not experts. Craig already said that, but we are living this life with three kids each. 
and a wife. And uh, how long and, have you been married? And still, and still with the same. The exactly. Same how long have you been married? Spouse. Been married uh, not just past nine years. Uh, literally got, like uh, a week ago. Dude, I got 15 coming up in June. Whew. Yeah. I've got 16 years in total, I believe, if my math is correct. Okay. Uh, we dated for a while uh, but prior to that, but yeah. Yeah. Me too. If you're counting dating, I'm 17 then. Wow. Yeah. No, come on now. All right. So here's the deal. Um, you know, for me, I think it's just like a deep understanding of the person. I mean, you get to know them. You're past the honeymoon phase after two mm -hmm. years, right? Mm -hmm. Two years where they can do no wrong. You just like madly in love all the time, all over each other, making out, kissing, hugging, extra <laughs> hugs. My wife made me this thing called the lunch of love every single day. I brought it to work. And all the ladies were like, oh, he's newly married. And I totally was. Now, <laughs> the ladies, for bursting my newly married bubble. Yeah. But here's the deal. My wife would still make me a lunch of love. And I'll tell you what, the lunch of love kind of adjusts a little bit. For instance, my wife is an actress. Everyone knows this. She's Dory in Finding Nemo at Disney, or she was with the layoffs like most of the world. She lost her job. So, you know, SeaWorld said, oh, hey, I heard you're free, you famous, awesome actress. Why don't you come join our rankings? And so now she's hanging out at SeaWorld doing little fun stuff out there. But, and she's very lucky to have found another gig, especially right now. But, um, you know, the biggest thing is, is uh, being able to, you know, relate to her, relate. We're about every just uh, over some space in lunch of love. So the lunch of love feeling is still there, but I give her maybe dinner. Maybe, you know, we went out to Taco Tuesday last night with the kids mm -hmm. and we ate our tacos in the car because it was a little more crowded than we were all comfortable with. Mm -hmm. I have a five year old I don't want to chase through who's not going to wear his mask. So, you know, we ate in the car and it was awesome. And I got her some extra food, dinner of love, you know? So, <laughs> I was just thinking about her. And I think, you know, just continuing to think about your partner, your partner doesn't have to love you. They choose to love you, you know? And so by them choosing to love you, maybe you should uh, choose to give them a little bit of extra thought. That's all I'm saying. Just a little extra thought. What do you think? Date your wife, right? Huh? Cor yeah, Corey says it all, all the time. Date, date your wife. You got to yeah, yeah. keep dating. Have, have date night, whether it's weekly, monthly, whatever you can do, the more, the better. And it's not just going out to dinner and stuff like that. It's it's the small things. It's going for a walk. It's it's doing, uh, you know, something small. Going. Um, we went for a drive this past weekend. Uh, we ha we have an older car um, that my my wife has had for a long time. It's an old muscle car, um, and we haven't driven it in a long time. We went out for three hour drive, and I'm so happy that damn thing didn't break down but <laughs> what what but year is it what old it's a, it's a 1967 camaro do, so do you know that i have an old car too do you know i that? did not know that i have a 60 chevy impala really you got a boat <laughs> it's white it's white with red interior original interior oh that's beautiful that's yeah it's beautiful. in my dad's garage it's my dad my dad and I's, but yeah. yeah so so we we took that out for a nice drive and that was an awesome date for us just to take it for a nice drive and and things like that but something else to take it a step further is, is asking the questions and the communication aspect you got to keep up with the communication and that is you know where do we see ourselves in five years so like setting the family goals and the lifeline and everyone being on the same page you know e even like you could get even as deep as like legacy what do we want to leave behind for the kids right these are all conversations that you eventually have to have either now and plan for it or later on when it's like uh eh, well this is what they're getting you know yeah. or you know blah 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 and things happen life happens and things have to change and you have to pivot and whatnot but it's it's good to have a plan and kind of work towards something and work towards a goal how much how long do you guys want to work how long do you have to work you yeah. know who who wants to retire first who can retire first like going through these things and the more that you guys talk and get to know each other actually brings you closer together and you guys start playing the game together and not separately right yeah. so you know those are a lot a lot of conversations um, that, that you can have and keeping those open lines of communication. So those are the things that my wife and I like to talk about when we go on dates. And it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's not just going out and eating and, you know, so ab about that election, huh? <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's talking like the truly intimate 
personal things, you know, that, that can bring you guys closer together and keep things, keep things going. Joey's talking about acts of love or acts of kindness. I think that, um, yeah, that that's huge, especially if you, uh, that is your love language, right? We talk about the five love languages sometimes, you know, uh, acts of service, um, acts of service, physical touch, um, quality time presence. And there's one other one that I always forget. I'm not words, an words of affirmation, words of affirmation. So, you know, all of those things, like if you, if you have an act of love or a, you know, act of kindness or whatever it is, you know, that that's going to help take some stress off of them. As Joey was saying, I totally agree. Like washing the dishes is something yes. you kind of have to do, but it's nice if, uh, we, we do like, if I cook, she cleans, uh, vice versa kind of thing. But you know, it always ends up that, you know, the other person just feels bad sitting on the couch while the person's cleaning the whole kitchen by themselves. Although sometimes if there's like a game on or something, I'll totally have the AirPods in and just set my phone on like the windowsill. I'll just like tune in and it's all good. I don't mind washing dishes. Um, but uh, there was something that I had that I was going to give. Um, oh, do you guys go to bed at the same time? Uh, normally we do. Yeah. Yeah. For, I, try I mean, to like, well. like ju just about every night. You know, yeah. and, and this is, um, you know, since we've moved into the new house, this is the first time ever that we've had a TV in the bedroom. And I don't know if I mm. like it or not. Like, it's cool because we're like, you know, Netflix, you know, like watch this episode before we yeah. go to bed. But I was never a big, I mean, I can't say it because we would normally watch TV in our living room, you yeah. know, do our bedtime routine. And then I'm in bed, you know, and I used to read right before beds. Um, you know, sometimes I still do, you know, journal, whatever. Uh, but you know, now it's almost like I'm falling asleep to the TV, which I've never done before. And I know that it's not exactly good for you of what yeah. everyone says and the blue light that you take in and you're supposed to reduce or cut out your screen time certain amount of hours before you go to sleep for better sleep. And I, I've been known to not have good sleep in the past. And, and, you know, because I have anxiety issues and things along those lines and things spiral. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's, it's something that we have right now and it's not super affecting me, but I mean, you, you'll know, like if it does start affecting me, that TV is out of the bedroom real quick, whether my wife likes it or not, I'm sorry, like my, my health and she will understand, um, you know, but because of that, yes, we'll go watch an episode of something together before we go to sleep, you know, which is part of like what, what we our routine is and what we like to do. Wow, that was it's a long-winded okay. answer, Corey. I apologize. Okay. You, you can leave the TV <laughs> in the kids' room, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the babysitter. <laughs> yeah, no way. My kids are never getting TVs in their room. Never. They don't even. We, have we tell them. This, we tell our kids the same thing. Like I never had a TV in my room growing up. My first time was like when I went to college. But when when you I got a phone? Did you have a dial phone? Did you have two lines hmm. in your house? Oh, we. No, I don't oh, remember. Dude. Dude, I don't we remember if we had two lines. I, think line. I, I would tap into the fax line every now and then to call my girlfriend, right? Like my. We, we had one one phone line, and then I think we ended up getting another phone line just for internet when we had dial up. You know, got to go back to AOL days, right? <laughs> We're so old. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for my mother to come up and be like, yeah, mm hmm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, look, there she is. No. <laughs> so, I love it. I love it. So I, I've got I've got one more thing if, if you know before we go on too long here, and what one other thing that I think is important here to keep the relationship alive and romantic or just just strong in general, and it's going to come across where you think it might be a little selfish, um, but that is I want you to look inside. If you're constantly like nitpicking things with them or poking holes in in their game or something along those lines, you're dropping little comments of you know, you had certain expectations, they weren't fulfilling them like that. That's going to be a problem, right? Those little things are going to add up to a, a bigger issue when they can't take those little comments anymore. And I, I know personally, I've been there, I've done that. And I feel like crap when, but when Haley, my wife, like basically like takes too much and then breaks down in front of me. And then I realize like th I've been an a-hole for a certain period of time. Um, so it's, it's a, I need to turn inside and I need to filter before things come out. Um, uh, but more importantly, you know, lo look to the inside on, you know, improving myself, whether it, and like we say here at High Speed Daddy, like you got to become the best version of yourself through certain modalities that we follow and exercise, eating healthy, better sleep, uh, you know, breath work, meditation, things to fill your, your bank and fill your, fill your head with all good stuff 
so that you don't get these negative thoughts and trying to poke holes in them. And so you don't do that. But you could take that a step further too and say, you know, through the self-improvement aspect of not even just mentally uh, going to a better place, but even physically, you know, exercising, looking better for your partner, increasing your own self-confidence in that, a version of hygiene. You know, yeah. pe people give me crap all the time for my beard, right? My wife loves my beard. She won't let me shave. Believe it or not, like I, I took the beard off. I, what yeah, was it, yeah, I remember. a year ago or yeah. so? Yeah. I took the beard off. She said, grow it back. I don't like you without the beard anymore. She got so used to it that she likes it with the beard. So, you know, that that's something that I do that even though it sometimes it's a pain in the butt to like upkeep and take care of, she loves it. And because of that, I do that for her. You know, I'll get a haircut. I hate when my hair gets a little bit long, not just because of military. I'm not used to having long hair, but because when I get a haircut, my level of confidence goes up because I feel better about myself because I know I look better, right? So with that increased confidence, that stuff comes out and portrays and she latches onto that and loves it. You know, so that's certain things to do even on the physical side. Yeah. So. Uh, Mark. Okay. Mark says, uh, fantastic topic. My wife and I celebrate 30 years of marriage tomorrow. Congratulations. Congrats. Um, what is ASD? Five have ASD. Is this one of our autism, awesome families, autism families? Because we are broadcasting simulcast on, on, on culture, culture city, city. right? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so if that is true, Mark, let us know what ASD stands for. So we can let, uh, ourselves be a little bit more educated. Mm -hmm. Um, autism spectrum disorder. I'm going to guess that's what it is. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, and the best thing we ever did was make our marriage a priority. Oh, I fully yeah. agree, Mark. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And I, and I, I've been to, um, a couple different men's groups where, uh, there was someone that was a little bit older that has been, you know, around the block, trying to give advice back saying, listen, you need to make your relationship with your spouse a priority, even more so than your kids. And that's a little bit different take on things. Cause you think like I'd save my kids before I save my wife, if like shit hit the fan or something along those yeah. lines. Right. But you need to make your, your relationship and, and that a priority even more so than the kids, because without that in a broken family, that's going to trickle down into the kids and create bad stuff. Now it happens, right? I get it. We live in a world where what the statistic is 45, 55% divorce rate, something along those lines. I get it. These things happen. But if you can concentrate on making that relationship more solid, it's just a better atmosphere for the kids to grow up in. And, and Mark did confirm. Yeah. ASD is autism spectrum disorder. I was just Googling it to make sure, mm -hmm. but yes, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mark, thank you for, oh. for, for, uh, let, letting us be aware of that. Heck yeah. Yeah. And, um, and we agree. We agree with you a hundred percent that, you know, at least Corey and I do, uh, we're not saying you have to take everything we say, you know, to, to affirm and, you know, cut into stone, but we believe that, you know, keeping that relationship the best with, with your significant other or wife will make a better atmosphere for the kids. It's true. It's true. Well, everybody, hopefully you got some good knowledge from this. Hopefully you got some good thoughts, I should say, from this. <laughs> um, and uh, we hope that you will, you know, if you're looking for a backpack, if you're looking for some great dad gear, uh, military style dad gear, uh, then head on over. Head on over to highspeeddaddy.com and check it out because the, the deal that's going on right now, you, you won't see again until, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you'll ever see it again, quite honestly. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I'll say that it's, it's, uh, when, when Craig talks about it being like limited, like, I, trust me, there's, there's quantities tied to each, each piece. So yep. when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, Go absolutely. get it. Good. Don't wait. Whatever you do, don't wait. So <laughs> until next time, everybody, I'm going to, I'm going to play our little music for the outro. Is that okay? Oh, outro? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I'm going to do an outro of the same opener that we did. <laughs> <laughs> Bye everybody. <laughs>